Yeah, be mindful of Allah. It's a this this issue of being mindful of Allah and being conscious of Allah Taala. This particular hadith, if we didn't have this dawah that we were limited in time, I would have bought the other kitab written by Ibn Rajab al Hanbali. It's called Nur al Iktibas. He wrote, he, he done a, this hadith by itself. He made a whole book on it. Ibn Rajab al Hanbali. Do you know what he called it? He called it Nur al Iktibas. Fi wasiyat al Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam al Ibn Abbas. Am I? It's called Mishkat. Nur Nur uh, Nur al Iktibas. Fi Mishkat al Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam al Ibn Abbas. Something like that. The advice that the Prophet gave to Ibn Abbas. Ibn Rajab al Hanbali. The tabaa, the best tabaa for the kitab is Daru al Bashair. Darul Bashair. They published it. Brothers, I beg you guys. As'alukum billah. I ask you for the sake of Allah. It's also translated in English. Okay? It's also translated in English. Please go and read the sharh of this hadith by Ibn Rajab al-Hambali. Please, I beg you. He brings phenomenal stories of the Salaf and how Allah protected them. Phenomenal. He brings durar, durar, gems. Gems. The book is in English. It's the advice of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to Ibn Abbas or something like that. But it's in English. I saw it with my two eyes. It's in English. Okay? And it's in Arabic. And if you can read the Arabic, even better. He brings, quote, what it means to protect. Where do you protect from your body parts? And stuff like that. He brings many aqwal. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says... وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ وَنَعْلَمُ مَا تُوَسْوِسُ بِهِ نَفْسُهُ وَنَحْنُ أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ حَبْلِ الْوَرِيدِ إِذْ يَتَلَقَّى الْمُتَلَقِّيَانِ عَنِ الْيَمِينِ وَعَنِ الشِّمَالِ قَعِيدِ مَا يَلْفِظُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيمٌ عَتِيدٌ حِفْظُ الْلِسَانِ protecting your tongue and that which comes from it Ibn Rajab al-Hanbali talks about ihfaz Allah what it really means he breaks it down and then when he finishes that he comes to yahfaz by itself he breaks it down and he breaks down Allah protects you in two ways he says this Allah protects you in two ways. Fi masalihi deenihim wa dunyahum. Allah will protect your worldly affairs for you. And Allah will protect the hereafter for you. And then he brings all the evidences to show that Allah will protect the dunya for you. And he mentions in there four things Allah will protect the dunya for you. Your nafs, Allah will protect it. Your ahl, your family, Allah will protect it. Your wealth, Allah will protect it. Sorry, those three he mentions. Your, your mal, mal, your wealth. He mentions all that. And he brings delay for each one. And then he goes to your deen, de- 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 the religion, and how Allah protects your religion. He brings the famous hadith we're going to come to, is um, that the person doesn't take a step, doesn't do anything, until Allah Taala protects his hearing, and he's seeing, and he's walking. We're going to see the hadith. Huh? وَلَا يَزَالُ عَبْدِ يَتَقَرَّبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنَّ وَافِلْ حَتَّى أُحِبَّ فَإِذَا حَبَّبْتُ كُنْتُ سَمْعَهُ الَّذِي يَسْمَعُ بِهِ وَبَصَرَهُ الَّذِي يُبْصِرُ بِهِ وَيَدَهُ الَّذِي يَبْطِشُ بِهَا وَرِجْلَهُ الَّذِي يَمْشِي بِهَا وَلَئِنْ سَأَلَنِي لَأُعْطِيَنَّ وَلَئِنْ اسْتَعَاذَنِي لَأُعِيذَنَّ He brings all these narrations and all these quotes. I can't go through it right now. It is gems. You go to that kitab. You are going to be really amazed with the way forward in your life and how what is it that you need. احفظ الله يحفظك. He brings a couple of stories. He brings a story of Abu Tib, Abu Tib al Tabari. Abu Tib al Tabari, they said he reached 100 and something age. Brothers, 100 and something. And then he jumped from a, 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 his riding beast. Jumped from him. And he jumped on the ground. And his students, they came and they said, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raja wa shaykh, what are you doing? You're 100 and something. You're jumping from a riding beast. Don't you, are you not scared of fracturing your bone? Are you not scared of hurting yourself? And then he said something very powerful. He said, "Hafidnaha fi sigari." When we were young, we protected our body. Fahafidha Allahu fi kibari. Now that we're old, Allah is protecting us. us. Hafidillah. Ibn Rajab brings it under there. Some of the Salaf they came across a man on the road, begging the people, asking the people, "Please help me." And then they said, "Hada al-rajul dhiya Allahu fi sigarihi." فَضَيَّعَهُ اللَّهُ فِي كِبَرِهِ This man, he forsaked اِحْفَضِ اللَّهِ He didn't come with it. I mean, he forsaked Allah when he was young. When he was young. And now, Allah forsaked him subhanahu wa ta'ala. People who listen to music, who love to listen to music, who love to, they, they grow up 
losing their memory when they grow old. Filling their brains with all of this. Okay? Dementia and their Alzheimer's and all these things happen to them. Those who st- from, the, from a young age nurtured themselves upon the Quran and this and that. Ya ikhwa, at an old age. Because look, when you were young, if you came with Ihfadillah, leave it to Allah when you grow old. He will take care of you, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Are we all together? So this hadith, by the way, brothers, is go to that book. I cannot cover all of that which has been mentioned. Lakin it is kitab yastahiqu an yuktaba bima idhab. It's a book that deserves to be written in ink of gold. That kitab. And Ibn Rajib's works are all like that. He has a kitab on, uh, on, on, on the, يَتَّبِعُ الْمَيُّتُ ثَلَاثَةً That the dead, three things follow him into his grave. إِنَّا لِلَّهِ You know the, the famous hadith, that when the, the person dies, three people follow him to his, three things follow him to his grave, two come back and one remains. يَرْجِعْ أَهْلُهُ وَمَالُهُ His family and his wealth come back, وَيَبْقَى عَمَلُهُ And his actions remain. Ibn Rajab wrote a whole book on this explanation of that hadith. Are we all together? He also made an explanation in the hadith, Allahumma inni as'aluka ilman nafi'an. Oh Allah, I ask you beneficial knowledge. He wrote a whole book on this hadith. That's how Ibn Rajab was. Every hadith, he write an explanation on it. There's another, hadith, another book he wrote on the hadith of مَا ذِئْبَانِ جَائِعَانِ أُرْسِلَ عَلَى غَنَمٍ Two wolves that were starved. They were starved. The two wolves were starved. They were not given food for a long time. And then randomly those two wolves were left in a herd of sheep. What are they going to do to it? How are they going to be? You, no common, right? You all know what's going to happen. The Prophet ﷺ said, the way that wealth and loving position harms the person's religion is worse than the wolf will do to the sheep. Are we all together? And then Ibn Rajab said, you know, this hadith is, it deserves a whole explanation. So he wrote a book on that one as well. بَدَأَ الْإِسْلَامُ غَرِيبًا وَسَوْفَ يَعُودُ غَرِيبًا كَمَا بَدَأَ فَطُوبَ لِلْغُرَبَاءِ He wrote a whole explanation on that book, that hadith. Ibn Rajab, by the way, it's sad, Allah, he's very sad, that no one actually stood up to work on his books. Like, you know how, like, get all the manuscripts and make a good publication for his works? No one's actually did that. The English, the Arabic publications, uh, they're not well served. They deserve much better service. And if someone did stand up for it and did tahqiq of the works of Ibn Rajab al-Hanbali and really went after it, wallahi, it would be amazing. Some of his books are published like Jam Ulum al-Hikam and his tafs- uh, t- uh, kitab Fatuh uh, al-Bari, uh, Sharh al-Sahih al-Bukhari. Well, you know what's actually amazing? He was the one who explained Sahih al-Bukhari before Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani. Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani took the name Fatuh al-Bari from Ibn Rajab al-Hanbali. And guess where he, Ibn Rajab died when he was explaining Sahih Bukhari? Kitab al Janais. The book of the funerals when he was in there, he died and he never finished it. Rahimahullah, rahmatan wasi'ah. He was one of the students of Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Rajab al Hamri. He was what? One of the students of uh, Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn al Qayyim. Get that book, brothers, tonight. Go home, buy, download it from the internet. And try to read it. This hadith. This, uh, this hadith. Inshallah ta'ala, you'll find a lot of benefits in it. See, uh, you get it, right? The Arabic is called Mishkatul. The legacy of the Prophet. Huh? The Arabic is called Nurul Iqtibas. Fi Mishkati Wasiyyati Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ibn Abbas. Nurul Iqtibas. Fi Mishkati Wasiyyati Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ibn Abbas. In English, is what? The leg- there it is. Allahumma barik. The legacy. Kalamullah. There you go. Everyone go home today. That's your homework. Download that book. It's called The Legacy of the Prophet. Download it. Sit down and read it. In English, if you want to read it, you can. In Arabic, it's called Nurul Iqtibas. Fi, uh, Nurul Iqtibas. Fi Mishkati Wasiyati Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Abbas. Something like that. Read it. You, you guys would understand why I'm emphasizing on this book. How great it is. And then what you do is, by the way, just start downloading all of his books that are like that. In English, Alhamdulillah, uh, Darul Sunnah, I think it was. 
they're the ones who st spent time working on his books. So download all of his books. Ibn Rajab al Hanbali, the minute you see it, download it. Ah. Don't waste time. Download it and read it. I told you yesterday, he's from the scholars whose explanations of hadith is based on another hadith. Like unique what he does. He wants to explain the hadith for you, he brings another riwayah, another wording that explains the hadith. Then once he finishes that, he goes to the kalam of the sahabas and then the tabi'een. He fills up the whole book with aqwal, statements of the salaf. Fills it up with salaf. Ibn Rajab has got a very amazing way of explaining hadiths. I mentioned that.